How to add your Google AdSense into the WordPress and this step-by-step -step tutorial guys I'm going to show you how we can do this So the very first thing we need to do is to show you how to have your WordPress totally for free Just in case guys you want to actually just take a look uh, with no payment So what I want to do now is to go into Pantheon.io I want to save a little bit of money so here I'm going to hit into get started So what I want to do here into Pantheon is to look out for a deployment of a website that can be helping me to use use all the elements of WordPress, all the plugins totally for free. Because I'm going to be using a plugin, uh, so what you want to do is to go into Pantheon.io, hit into get started, and once you have now created your account, I want to fill all your information, hit into I agree to the Pantheon terms of my use, and hit into sign up. And now what we can create it now, I'm going to go back here because I already have created my Pantheon.io account. It's gonna be looking something like this. So now that we have created our account, what I want to do is to create my new site. Of course, I want to have my CMS site of WordPress. So, so scroll a little bit down, choose the create new site. And here I want to look out for a CMS site. I want to look out for WordPress in our case. And here what I want to do is to actually create a username inside Pantheon so I can sign in later in the WordPress. So type in here your uh, username and hit into continue. Once you have successfully done that, you want to go back into the site settings. So in my case, I already have created this one. So as you can see, have the upstream, the plan and the status. So with that being said, what I want to do now is to go into TechPress, which is my actual site that I have just created. And then I'm going to look out for visit development site. So once you clicked in there, it's going to be taking you somewhere like this. So once you hit in there, it's going to be taking you into the very first part, the dashboard of the actual WordPress. So once you have created your account inside WordPress with the same information that you used in here, which is really important, you're going to be showing you something like this. So what I want to do is to go back into my dashboard. So as you can see, we do have now enabled the WordPress and the basic plan so we can download almost any plugin. So let's go ahead and download the plugin. So what I want to do is to scroll down and look out for plugins. I'm going to hit in here. And then what I want to do is to look out for the add new like this. So now what I want to do like is to look out for keyword. So here into keyword, what I want to do is to look out for G suit. So it's going to be popping up all the new elements here, uh, signing with Google. Um, so what I want to do is to scroll all the way up and look out for Google and leave this like that. So once we have successfully uh, looked into that, as you can see, here's the Google site kit by Google. So now what I want to do is to leave this like that and go directly into Google AdSense so I can sign in and then later we can just merge both of them into just one place. All right, so as you can see, we're now here into the Google Ads. I want to choose my account. And as you can see, it says sign up a couple of things before you start. So here it says your site. What you want to do is to go back, of course, into your actual section of your dashboard Pantheon. And here I want to look out for my actual website. If you don't find your actual website, you don't have to worry about that. Let's go back here into sign up. You want to hit into I don't have a site yet. I'm going to be doing that later. I'm going to go for get more out of sims. You want to go into customize this and your payment currency territory. You want to choose the one that fits with your actual country that was created with your actual WordPress account, which in my case is the United States. And after that, I want to agree to the terms and service. I want to hit in here. I want to scroll all my way down. It's really worth it to check it out everything. So I'm going to go into start using AdSense. And now with that being said, we are now going to be inside Google AdSense. So there we go. So now what I want to do is to connect my site into AdSense. As you can see, we do have three different things that we can do here. But I want to look out for the one that says, let's go from the Google Sites. So I'm going to hit into let's go. And here it says add site. Now we can add our own website. I'm going to go into settings. And here's settings. I want to locate the general settings. I want to locate the WordPress address. And down here, we do have the site address, which I think is this one. So with that being said, what I want to do is just to copy all of this like that and paste that into the ad site of the Google AdSense. I'm going to hit into saved. So with that being said, now we can connect our site into get started. So as you can see, here it is. I'm going to go into let's go once again. I'm going to hit into dismissed. And now as you can see, we do have this AdSense code snippet. 
So what I want to do is to uh, have my site ready to show this ads, copy and paste this code between the head head text on each page onto your site. And to do that, what I want to do is choose to copy all this information and go back here into WordPress. So now what I want to do is to go back into the site kit. I'm going to hit into the dashboard. And as you can see, we are now inside the site kit inside the actual website of the WordPress. So I'm going to go for signed into uh, connect Google Analytics as part of your setup. I'm going to hit into sign in with Google. And of course, you want to leave it your Google account already been open, choose the same account that you choose for the Google site. And then what I want to do is just to enable all of the site access. So this one can be working properly. So we go for continue. And then now what I want to do is to actually just try to uh, reload the page because what I need to do is to grant the access because the code is not available yet. So you don't have to worry about that. Just go into reload the page. So after I have reloaded my page, I'm going to go back again and redo the plugin setup which says here, unable to authenticate site kit. You don't have to worry about that. Just try to redo that using the same account. Really, really important. And try to leave this already been um, added here. Now, what I want to do is to hit down into the actual section of Google Ads. As you can see, it says connect your site, review requested. So as you can see, it's actually working. So I'm going to go into the X mark and my actual website has now going to be added. So see how ads looks on your site. I'm going to go into explore. And what I want to do is to check it out how it's going to be looking my ads inside my actual Pantheon site. So what you want to do is to find the actual website, which I think is this one. And what's going to happen here, as you can see, here's my actual website. And down in here, it should be appearing the auto ads. So I want to enable this option. And here as you can see, here's the ads already been appearing into my actual website. I would add into the page sample. If I want to optimize the existing ad units, I can do that. So what I want to do is to go into the ad formats. For example, in page ads, I want to choose multiple ads. And then I want to go for the site rails. I want to disable this one and hit into add load. I'm going to go into the number of ads that you can show uh, into a firm pages. Let's say, for example, of the minimum and go into apply to your site. So you won't need to edit your code to apply these changes. I'm going to go into save. There we go. So lastly, guys, if I want to enter more information about my actual website, I can go into enter information and they're going to be actually good to go. After that, I can go into view my site. And here, as you can see, we have the approval status, the at txt status. And lastly, guys, I have my new site if I want to have something else added into Google AdSense. Lastly, what I do want to do is to go into ads and here you can start earning money with auto ads. The pending of this one has been already uh, enabled or not. But with that being said, guys, is how we can add this totally for free using the site kit. As you can see, we use Pantheon so we can download this plugin into our actual uh, WordPress. So it was really, really easy to do that, guys. So with that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if this was very useful for you. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Hopefully, I can see you next time. And well, see you in the next video.